I'm not going to lie to you. This shit here is hard as hell. It is hard as hell. Pause. Pause. I know how you all are. Um, trying to, um, you know, I, I get accused of, uh, forgive me, I'm, I'm literally at like, I, I, I am literally at the uh, wit's end here on doing this. Um, challenge myself to do 12 videos because I get accused of doing like 12, 15 videos. Thank God I didn't do 15. I believe this is number nine for the day. And literally when I realized I made this challenge at 11 o'clock, realizing that literally that's like a video an hour to like 10 o'clock at night. Well, it's 819. Game of Thrones comes on in 40 minutes. And I'm sitting here working on this one, which means I've got three more to do after this. That ain't going to be easy. Be that as it may, I'm going to do it. Somehow, some way, I'm going to do it. And I'm going to try and actually bring you guys something food for thought here. So, uh, Skip Bayless. Not that I'm going to be a Skip, quoting Skip Bayless and anything like that, because his whole thing was the Cowboys are tanking for Secure Sanders. So, uh, secure. So, yeah, uh, forgive me, I'm, I'm mispronouncing it. I'm tired. It's been hot outside and so on. And as some people have pointed out that, you know, he's sucking wind into everything else and everything else. Yeah, I am sucking wind. I'm 58 years old. I've got bad knees. Um, I'm not in great shape because I got bad knees. But I don't stop going. It may be that I'm out of wind, that I get tired. But I can tell you, you can take a look at this place here that a year and a half ago was a shithole. It didn't get done by me not getting it done. So, you know, trolls, assholes, jackasses, you know, behind the keyboard warriors, y'all can kiss my ass. Because you probably couldn't do half of what I do. But be that as it may. Skip Bayless actually made a great point about the Cowboys sabotaging the team. I've talked about it on the live stream today and things. And I look at this and I say, I don't know how you expect the players to be able to achieve when you don't have enough of the players. When you look at a San Francisco 49ers and their offense that's got a Debo Samuels, a Brandon Ayuk, a Christian McCaffrey, um, a George Kittle, you know, a, a, a Trent Williams, a Brock Purdy. And then you look at us, I mean, we got Jake Ferguson, we got Dak, and we got, you know, CeeDee Lamb. Other than that, we're not comparable in any other of those other positions. Now, we got Zach Martin and we got Tyler Smith. We've got some decent ones. But you're looking at that team that had everything and still fell short. You're looking at an Eagle team that far and away had more talent than we did fall short in the Super Bowl. And here's one of those areas where you look at where the Cowboys pretty much say, we're going to do more with less. This is um, NFL.com's running back index from the 23 season. Okay? I want to go through this because we let Tony Pollard go, and we are having Zeke Elliott as our running back. Right? Um, let me change the camera here. This might be a little bit better, so it's not blocking my head. All right, so according to the NFL.com, and there's different ones out there that may have Zeke higher or lower and so on, but let's go through it. Number one, Christian McCaffrey. Okay, San Francisco with a lot of other talent. Number two, Kareem Williams with the Rams. Number three, Derrick Henry, who went to Baltimore. Number four, Raheem Morse. Number five, James Cook with Buffalo. Number six, Brees Hall. Number seven, James Conner. Number eight, Derek Montgomery. Number nine, DeAndre Swift, whom I still will say that I think the Eagles made a mistake in letting go of DeAndre Swift and signing Saquon. DeAndre Swift had 1,300 yards last year, 4.6 yards a carry. 
Saquon, not so much. But be that as it may, the knock on him was he wasn't a great blocker. Jameer Gibbs for the Lions. That's the top 10. What I want you to notice is there's no Cowboys running backs, even Tony Pollard in the top 10. Let's keep on going. Rasheed White, Tampa Bay. Najee Harris, Pittsburgh Steelers. Travis uh, Etienne, um, Jacksonville. Joe Mixon. Bijan Robinson. Finally get to Saquon at 16. Isaiah Pacheco. Then you finally get to Tony Pollard, who is no longer on the team. Okay? So I want you to understand, the Dallas Cowboys lead back last year was considered the 18th best. That is past average. Because there's 16 teams, average is 16. 16, 17. So, below average. Jonathan Taylor, 19. Gus Edwards, at 20. Nowhere on here so far do you see any Cowboys that are currently on the roster in the top 20. There's 32 teams. Let's keep on going. Kenneth Walker, the third. Uh, Devon... Uh, I can't even pronounce his last name with, uh, with Miami. Devin Singletary, Jerome Ford, Chuba Hubbard, Josh Jacobs, Jalen Warren. That's the top 27. Zach Moss, Aaron Jones, Alvin Kamara. There's 32 teams. So far, we haven't gotten to a single Dallas Cowboy that's currently on the roster. That's literally saying that right now, everybody has a better running game than the Dallas Cowboys. Let's keep on going. Ah, there it is. Zeke Elliott at 31. Let's keep on going down through here. Brian Robinson, Austin Eckler, Javante Williams, Ramir Stevens. Taylor Geyer, Kareem Hunt, A.J. Dillon. What I want you to notice is some teams have multiple guys already. Multiple guys already in the list on their roster. Khalil Hober Herbert, Alexander Martinson, Tyler Spears, Zach Carbent, Ty Chandler, uh, Jail McLaughlin, Nick Chubb, Zaire White, Devontae Freedom, Keaton Mitchell, Miles Sanders. Actually, I thought Miles Sanders, well, Miles Sanders the year before was really good. Justin Hall, uh, D Damian Pierce. We're in the top, we're, we're already through the top 50. Joshua Kelly, Kenneth Gainwell. Uh, Saji, I have no idea. Antonio Gibson, Clyde Edwards, um, Laverius Murray, Amari, whoever, Pierce Strong, Elijah Mitchell, Dalvin Cook. Look at that, Dalvin Cook, who had like 300 yards last year. Jameel Williams, Cam Akers, Tony Jones, Matt Bayer. Daryl Henderson, J.K. Dobbins, Ronnie Rivers. I want you to understand now, 32 teams times two is 64. Tyler Goodman, LaMichael Pierre, Pierre uh, Ingram, and Deion Jackson. So, of 72 running backs in the NFL, you have only one guy on that list on your roster, Zeke Elliott, who's rated at 31. And we look at this and we say, well, Dak, it's on you, bro. If you don't win, it's because you're a garbage-ass quarterback. 
Now, my question earlier today was, does Troy Aikman have three rings without Emmett Smith? Real question. Real question. Because I look at it and say, coming off the of Super Bowl, the first two games we didn't have Zeke. I'm excuse me, we didn't have <laughs> well, Emmett. We lost. We are in the playoffs against the Giants. Zeke separates his shoulder. They didn't say, Don't worry, Zeke. We got Troy. They said, man, bro, you got to tape it up and get your ass back out there. And we are in a dogfight to win. And see, that, my friends, is the difference between the Cowboys of yesteryear and Troy Aikman. And that's not to say Troy Aikman wasn't great, because Troy was great. But Troy could not win that on his own. You couldn't just take Troy Aikman and plop him on another team that doesn't have the same talent and say, he's winning three Super Bowls. It's not how it works. So, with that being said, I got a half hour before Game of Thrones. And I believe this is number nine for the day. And I ain't going to lie to you. This shit is hard. Pause. Peace out, good people. And uh, I got... uh,